Hello and welcome to another episode of Five O'Clock Tales. I'm Molly Wellman. I'm here to show you another great classic cocktail that you yourself can make at home. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, I was not around this weekend. I actually decided to take some time off. Uh, I decided to turn off the TV, turn off the news at least, uh, turn off my social media, um, kind of lay low on the text messages and the emails and stuff like that, and really focus on where I am in the situation. I was finding myself full of anxiety last week and nothing was going right. I kept on shaking where I should be stirring and stirring where I should be shaking and just not thinking very straight, if you know what I mean. So I did a few things. I got out my sewing machine. I made some mat homemade masks that I got a pattern off of online and uh, did that and watched um, Ozark. That is a crazy show. Uh, I read a book that had nothing to do with cocktails. <laughs> um, so it was really good to kind of like, uh, you know, just chill for a minute on all of this. It's very stressful. And being in the house and not doing your usual thing, um, is very stressful and it's good to take a minute for yourself and figure out where you are in this whole situation. It really did help me. Um, that and I, we finally figured out the whole GoFundMe thing. We were having some problems getting the funds for that and finally got that figured out. And I feel very, very relieved. I finally got some money in the pockets of my employees. And um, I wanna thank everybody for giving. That has made such a difference and thank you. So. Uh, let's get to this drink, shall we? I think this is a very appropriate drink that we wish we all were right now. The Millionaire Cocktail. This is a great drink from the 1920s, from the Prohibition era. Uh, it's crazy. There's about probably about a half dozen different um, cocktails that I found that have the name Millionaire. Uh, all different, completely different, completely different liquors, completely different ingredients. Uh, but this one I find to be the best and it's really really good so let me show you how we make it shall we okay you're gonna need your cocktail glass of course and you're gonna need a shaker we're gonna start with first well we'll need this first we're gonna first wash our glass in a little bit of absinthe we did this for the sazerac we did this for i don't know another cocktail i'm kind of losing track <laughs> um but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a little bit of your absinthe in the glass and then you're just going to swish it around and that's called kind of washing the glass you don't need too much of this it just adds a little bit of flavor uh adds some stuff for the nose you know and i think like that's really important as well so set that aside get your shaker we're going to use some rye whiskey so i really like this old forester rye whiskey it's a great price point it's absolutely delicious for sipping or for making drinks. It's really good. You can tell I've been sipping on this a lot. Um, that's the problem. Because <laughs> I really like my whiskey. Uh, in cocktails and just sipping on our own. This one is great for both. So we're going to add an ounce and a half of our rye whiskey into your cocktail glass. Next, you're going to need your grenadine. And grenadine, if you don't have any at home, pomegranate juice, sugar, put it in a pan, uh, dissolve the sugar, uh, let it cool down, put it in a bottle, keep it in your refrigerator. You have grenadine, that's all it is. Here's the, we're going to use a quarter of an ounce in this cocktail, so right into the glass. Next, you're gonna need some triple sec. We're gonna just use a quarter of an ounce of triple sec as well, okay? That's all we need for the sweetness. It's just a kiss of sweetness, it's not too much. Next, balance that all out with some lemon juice. Just use a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice in this, okay? We don't want it to be too sour. We just wanna balance that sweetness out is all. Okay, then we're gonna need egg white. Now, I've already separated my egg white. Uh, if, if you don't do this at home or you just have those, uh, you know, just egg whites, that works really well. Um, but just get an egg and separate the yolk from the white and you're good to go. So if not, just a half ounce of egg white is all you need right into your cocktail glass. Okay, now let's add our ice. Doo -doo -doo, right into the glass. Just like so, oh, I can already smell that absinthe in that glass, it smells so good. All right, put your shaker on. And shake, 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 shake this really hard. It's like it's really nice and cold and fluffy. You want this fluffy, and that's what the egg white's gonna do, is make it kind of light and fluffy. Usually with sours, 
you, it's good to add a little egg white so that it's not so heavy. The way to get a good fluff is to shake it a lot. <laughs> okay, that should do it. Woo! Get your workout. Ooh, that's nice and fluffy. That's good. Okay, so put your strainer on and strain that right into your glass that you've coated in absinthe. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? That nice little fluff. Should have a little bit of foam on top. And this tastes just like you're a millionaire. <laughs> Hopefully, it brings you lots of luck and you do become a millionaire. If you do, please consider <laughs> giving some of that to my um, Venmo or to my GoFundMe. We're still raising money for my employees. So uh, anyway, if not, just enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it for me too. Uh, cheers to all of you. Thanks again. Make sure you're taking time for yourself and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy drinking.